Hello, my name is Marcus Freire and I'm an IT consultant for ABP Consultancy for almost two years now. On the first project I was a part of for ABP, I took the part of RPA developer and that is something that I really like for several reasons. RPA is a relatively new technology that is spreading very fast. So on one hand, you have a lot of work to be done and on the other, you get to work with that sexy new tech that everyone is talking about. As you might already know, RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. So what we do is automate certain tasks that are repetitive so we can release some of the workload from the workers so they can focus on tasks that demand more human attention. In sum, we are creating robots that uh, do the boring and repetitive tasks for humans to increase efficiency while reducing errors and time. But worry not, we are not creating Skynet or any other AI to overthrow mankind. The life of an RPA developer is pretty simple actually. Once all the analysis is done, we just need to grab the documentation for the process we want to automate and just start mapping every click and keystroke needed. RPA usually follows a codeless idea where you won't be typing big chunks of code, more of a box here, activity there. Um, it's clearer and also more intuitive and readable. If you're considering RPA as a possible career path, I recommend it. It's different from most tech developments because it's easy to get a grip on, start creating your projects and soon enough you'll have that feeling of accomplishment and pride. And if you're working on our office, there's free coffee too. So that's it pretty much. Thank you for listening.